when you're falling I'll be there above all So what kind of super attack did you decide on, Griff? Uh, I think the one that I posted... Let me see what it was again. I've already forgotten. Take a look-see. Oh, yeah. Uh, damage, range, uh, secondary effect, <laughs> feedback... Oh, yeah. Only affects the flesh creatures. Homing 3, Accurate 3, so I can get enough attack in with it. Split 2, and it smells like Justice. <laughs> so what does Justice smell like? I'm gonna say fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't go, uh, uh, that crazy. It's only, uh, uh, 17 ranks, uh, ranged attack, secondary effect, incurable, distracting, inaccurate three. Nice. Distracting is always interesting when trying to like just go overboard a little bit, but well, it kind of, it it. Fits. I, I felt the bird on it so far. Yeah. Well. It, it it fits in my idea of an emergency last ditch weapon, and it's just the way I see it. Is since a lot of my characters' uh, defenses are built into the suit itself, mm -hmm. I see it's it, it's pulling so much power that it can't. You know, it, it's literally I almost half shut down trying yeah, to fire this thing. Everything just seizes up in the process. I've got I got this fun description of the fact that you know. He just kind of locks in place as the, when the the cannon comes up comes up over his shoulder, and then after it fires, there's this you know and you know and as it's charging up, the, the little normal little lights you would see in him kind of flicker and dim down, mm -hmm. and then he fires, and then afterwards when he, when the the cannon goes back over his shoulder, there's just this puff of steam out of various <laughs> vents. And it just, just <laughs> linked effect, just you know, make a cloud affliction or something. Can't do, uh, can't do that, unfortunately. I know too many points. I try. I, I already, I already tried that because I was trying to do the the rank seventeen strength weak uh, strength weakening. I mean, think about that. You know, drop somebody's strength seventeen points. Oh yeah. I mean, make them so weak they can't even move. And the other fun thing about it is... I think you only got, need to get them down to minus five for that, too. It, hey, it depends on how big they are. I mean, the, that flesh wall, I probably could have taken them down to just zero. I, even zero. Probably couldn't... Didn't went, bleh. Can't talk. I probably would not have had to even taken them down to zero, given his size. Oh, yeah. One of the other things I'm But then thinking. again, I guess it's at that point at some point something needs to be uh intrinsic specifically so that it doesn't go away just because you enervated him a little bit. Yeah. It's like it's still like a shot of giant monster falling on someone. Yeah. I'm also considering adding a, a complication to it. As in, you know, instead of being something tied directly to the power, basically I've done. I, I've taken a piece of equipment I barely understand and made it do something it wasn't intended to do. Sounds like proper mad science to me. Because <laughs> so I was thinking either this is based off of the alien ship's uh, artificial gravity, or possibly their FTL drive. I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards the later uh, latter actually. I am kind of curious about, like, Dexstar's reaction to that. Like, isn't that the piece that, like, keeps our feet on the floor? Well, that's what Why are you using it as a weapon? What does it do? That was the, oh, other, part no. of, that was the other part of the, uh, uh, the possibility of doing uh, uh, a complication based off of it is, is, is Dexstar's reaction. Like, mm -hmm. my god, what the hell did you just do? <laughs> what did you just make? <laughs> you know? These humans, they can't be trusted. <laughs> Rocket them into space next. 
but yeah, I'm seriously contemplating to doing that weekend ability with my next point. Combat arrays are so useful for that. <laughs> oh yeah. I still need to like put in more skill points though. I still gotta actually get good at using my creation to trap people. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's our theme song now. Just the Seinfeld theme. <laughs> okay. Wait, is everybody here? Oh, uh, no. looks like it. Yeah, I'm just filling. Oh wait, no. Stuff, yeah, right? you go. Oh, yeah. oh shit, that's right. But yeah. I'm gonna fill in with my mic for a second, so I'm off technically, but I'm here. Okay. Oh, the, the... Jeez, the line of people below is so huge. How could this happen? Hey, Fui? Yes. I was I was thinking about this. Can I do uh, with this uh, uh, the new weapon I'm planning to add to my uh, my arsenal? Can I attach a complication to it? What kind of complication? It's technology that I barely understand how I'm, how it works, and I'm using uh, making it do things it was never intended to do. Ooh. <laughs> I'm actually honestly thinking it was part of the original FTL drive. Oh, shit. So between just at dramatically appropriate point of it doing something really off the wall, if I use it, and Dex's reaction <laughs> to like... Sure. Okay. The bastardized thing. Jeez. Jeez. You know, it's like I I know it deals with I know it deals something with gravitic forces. I never figured out exactly what it does or how it did it, but I managed to turn it into a weapon. <laughs> you what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jeez. But hello. Next he's gonna tell us like he reprogrammed the cleaning robot for war. No, but I technically did take the navigational uh, computer and turn it into a personality. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Which you guys are going to find out here. Well, maybe not this session now. we got too much other stuff going on. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's just... Arsenal's feeling desperate in that last fight. That was intense. And he feels like he needs uh, uh, something with some more punch for when we fight that kind of stuff, so... Mm-hmm. He took a project that he barely understood and moved it up. <laughs> Moving it on his turf. Yeah. Now, obviously, I know I won't have access to it until we get out of the sewer and a little mm -hmm. time passes. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this is the second week in a row we've got a new person. Yeah, I was surprised about that. Yay. Yeah. I'm not the new guy anymore. What's up, dude? Ah, oh, we gotta do debugging first. Oh, no. Yeah, I was wondering why you're so silent. Hmm. I had issues with my headset this morning. I ended up having to do a full freaking uh, reboot. Oof. But it's been working all day. I've just resorted to using my phone. It seems more reliable. Mm. Hello, world. Hey. Hello. Hey. Yeah, sorry about that. The sound driver died and didn't tell me. Hmm. That's so odd. yeah, so I was logged in. No, it's been happening lately. So um, drivers. Hmm. Oh, problem resolved for now. This time. Fire him. So fire and yeah. hire a new one. How do you guys change your names in the? Uh... Uh, game console thing here. Uh, you, um, go to, uh, you go to my settings, the gear, and the, the display name should be the first thing there. Okay, there we go. So what are you, what kind of uh, hero are you playing? You could choose to reveal that or not. Yeah, again, yeah. Um, uh, I'm, to... uh, so, so... I guess I'm a concerned citizen. What? <laughs> we got another Walter. Okay. 
so what I'm going to say that would bring you to the location where these when these people are heading towards yeah. is you would have got a tip off of some suspicious activities and goings on in this area. But are they bound? Are are they bounties, or are they violations? Uh, or is my insurance like is one of my insurance contacts wanting me to investigate it? Uh, it's not a well. This building hasn't been paid for a while. Hasn't been paid for, and some of the insurers think that they might be sheltering some bail jumpers. Okay, no, that that makes sense. We'll check. Can we sure there's no squad? You're an there. insurance agent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, you might be thinking the wrong type of insurance. Yeah, well, somebody has. Well, I, I'm sorry. I'm a I'm a private investigator, but one of my specialties is insurance claims. I mean, what else do you hire a private investigator for? So you're dog the bounty hunter. Uh, I also am licensed to hunt bounties. Yes. Yeah. Right. Nice. I, I'm a private investigator. I. I. I yeah, hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Also, let me bring up the map here. Have you seen the map yet? Uh, you mean that bizarre mess of <laughs> figures in red? No. no. I think you're talking about the city map. <laughs> no. That is it, definitely not the map. The city the slash map. world map. Yeah. The thing with the hexagons on it. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that in the stream. I usually don't watch the stream because I'm worried it has um, spoilers because it's the GM. Oh, yeah. Well, we pull it up whenever we need to. Yeah. So, okay. where would your place of residence be? If you need any information about any of the locations, just let... Well, you, you kind of know nothing about the locations, so I'll fill you in a little bit. So, Cote Noir is the area that was in uh, France and northern Spain. It's primarily French stock, and there's a lot of industry around Port Somber, and a lot of organized crime throughout more of the south area. It's not very wealthy, but, you know, people get by. That's where most of the party is located. Uh, well, you have... I, I can help you out here. It's the future, and I'm a private investigator who operates uh, out of her phone. So I don't have a fixed residence. All right. That's fair. So, I, next, yeah, I, I would the be... the next subway station. <laughs> you, cra you crash couches for a living? Uh, no, it's uh, you get you guys know what hotels are, right? Like holes in the ground, like holes in the walls, but in the floor. <laughs> yep. Okay. Don't that that's just a running joke. That's a very along. niche oh. joke. Don't okay. worry about it. There, there's a lot of them. You'll you'll see them. You'll see them written on the backgrounds of yeah, on the buildings. The... <laughs> Look, there it is. There it is. Like beds we... in the walls, but in the floor. Yeah, and there's the big tower and the small tower. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, so what kind of social circles would you move through? Would you be more lower, middle, or upper? Oh, definitely lower. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> I, I I find bail dodgers, uh, insurance claims violators. I mean, I investigate white collar crime, but um. I'm not like a star witness or anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh, also, I, I hang out in animal shelters a lot, so uh, mm -hmm. I meet like volunteers and veterinarians. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, so this building that you're going to investigate is right on the border between Reichsland and Cote Noir, uh, actually up right up against the uh, border wall. On the okay. south side. So you'd probably make your way there via one of the monorails or some sort of bus. Or maybe you're close enough that you could walk. Do Unlikely. you have a car? I don't have a car. I can't okay. drive. Oh. Yeah, right. I, I mean, that's fair. It's the future. I mean, yeah. What? I said it's the future. Why would I need to drive? <laughs> because they fly. <laughs> they fly. I mean, it's hard. All right. Never mind. So, You'll find out. Yes. So, when you arrive at this building, it appears to be a fairly dilapidated affair. It's constructed out of just poured concrete, maybe some rebar supports inside. 
it looks pretty ramshackle. But if you make a perception check, you might be able to hear something come from inside. Okay, let me see if I can push these buttons correctly. Just rampant swearing. <laughs> okay, did that work? Uh, yes, it did. The din of the street traffic. Oh, actually, we're not actually underground right now. Oops. The din of the street traffic makes it difficult to hear anything from outside. Wow, this like, is actually you, one of the skills I have. That's a crappy roll. <laughs> Oof. Wait a second. Oh, I have two points. Okay, I was like, hack skill you have. There's like no points yeah. in that thing. Yeah, what's that's your a, total? A really crappy roll. No, that's a roll of yeah, so I mean how many what's your total ranks in it? Oh, just one, but it's okay. still a really crappy oh, okay. roll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you can't discern anything from outside, but your source is pretty reliable. Well, but I don't usually use perception, but I have an investigation, which is the skill mm. for looking for damages and that sort of thing. Yeah. And querying people and asking questions. I'm an investigator. Mm-hmm. So if you actually, like, poke around, you could probably use an investigation. That's exactly what I was hired to do. All right. That's much See. better. Yeah. Okay. No, because you look for signs of forced entry, breaking things, mm -hmm. signs of habitation. I'm not looking for ninjas hiding on the ceiling. No. See, that's your first mistake. Your ambush. <laughs> the first time you don't look for ninjas, there they are. It happens. Right. So you work around the outside of the building, not too much. Some my, my maybe minor graffiti, one or two homeless people in the alleyway. But when you get to the back, you can see that the chain that normally would hold the uh, rear loading doors uh, closed. Uh, looks like it's been broken, and the chain is laying on the ground, and the doors have are slightly ajar. Okay, what about the cameras? Uh, the cameras here have long since been vandalized and stripped for parts. Wow, and no one reported that. That no. is like, uh, yeah, I'll write that up in my report. Yeah, you underestimate how shitty this area is. Well, I don't underestimate. It's just I don't know why they're still insuring it if the cameras aren't working. Yeah. I mean, like, did you guys know the cameras aren't valid? Maybe it every be... time someone goes down there and reports they've been vandalized, they get another bit of insurance payment. The, um, the camera is just a sticker. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can understand them being false cameras, but this is how big is this building? It's fairly small. It's more like a it's more like a um sub warehouse for a distribution center. Well, but it's it's city real estate, so it has value. It is. Okay. It does. Yeah, so I'll write up that the cameras are broken. I don't know why you guys, you know, ca cameras vandalized, places broken into. Um, I'll do a circle around the place, like no cars or anything weird parked outside. No discipline, no discipline. <laughs> All right, well then, you know, a after that, I guess um, I'll go inside. Okay, so you enter in through the back. Once you enter, you can definitely start to hear voices when you're standing in the little, it's not an antechamber, the little landing room. Okay, um, I'll sneak in. Okay, so as you sneak in, we are going to zip, zip, zop back to the rest of the party. So, uh, I believe the last time we left off, let me just beep and... Oop. I think the proper description might be so much blood. <laughs> blood Break out those mops, blood. boys. Um, Basically picking up the pieces. Yeah. And as and I believe you guys were traveling down a tunnel in the direction that it appears they fled. Yes. Okay. So as you're moving through this tunnel. Well, we were trying to. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Did, did anybody get the egg? I... I... I thought you had it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I I, no, no it got hey, did anyone... Did, did anyone get the name of that license... Get the number of that license plate that just ran into us? I'm pretty sure there's a truck in the wall. <laughs> no, we, we got it. We got to get the egg. No, no, I did. Well, you were oh, talking you to the guys and yelling at them. I walked <sighs> over and I got the egg. Thank God. And I thought and about no, that's not how... praying to you. That is not praying. Does not count as praying to you, Firebrand, wherever you are. 
shake him up for no reason. Like it's a little bit weaker. (laughs) All right. (sighs) So egg safely in pocket. You guys start heading down this long hall. So going through this, it seems like you're now into. Oh no! Wait. Did you want to bring the map back, or is it? Are we going back to theater of the mind for now? I'm going back to theater of the mind for now. Okay, that's fine. And you guys go down this long hall, and I believe the description last time was that it was actually chiseled out of the earth. And the walls and ceilings seem pretty rough, but the floor has been worn almost smooth in places. And every every maybe 10 feet or so, there's a bare bulb hanging from the ceiling. As you guys... By the way, I meant I thought about. The, do I have enough signal to uh, send a message to Cure? Uh, Cure. I'm, I'm always mispronouncing um, his name. You're far underground enough now that it it would be very difficult. All right. Well, I'm gonna and have. Can I use my mystic sense? Uh, what would you be sensing for? I don't know anything. Any <laughs> presence, extra planar, arcane creatures. <laughs> Um, there's nothing specific, but there's that same kind of background energy in this tunnel. And every, every like, once in a while, I can see etched into the rock one of the small little circular symbols. These are much less carefully made. Well, they're not less carefully made. They're just less detailed than the one from the uh, manhole cover. They're, they're not as ornate. Yeah. Well, okay, would I be, since we're going to speak about feelings, would I be feeling anything down here? Uh, yes, very, very similar to the other ones. The, Perfect. The, uh, manual, but l- uh, much less intense. Each time we'll pass one of the little circles, I'll just kind of, like, drag a finger along it to mar it. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't you, like, uh, mar the sign? Let's fuck Oof. these guys. <laughs> what a vandal. But, as I was going to say, I'm going I'm to have Epic queue up, uh, uh, basically a small report for whenever he can get through the signal direct to cure, you know, because th- this is dangerous shit. It's going to be like picture file, pictures of what we were fighting, you know, the stuff that we were, we've gotten from the, uh, Ordress people, basically just a, a thumbnail report of everything that's happening because this is the sort of thing that needs to get more attention than it's been getting yeah. as possible. So, and as you guys go- come down here, you start to notice that, uh, well, you come to a, T section where one path goes to the left one path goes to the right uh, which way do you go or you can try and try and see or smell or sense which direction is the correct way well those or- those other orders people are still coming with us right because they have the tracker mm-hmm. oh that's correct I forgot what the tracker does so. well, are they they're gone where did they go <laughs> they were so... right behind you before I, 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 believe, I believe the speaker was Theodore, is that correct? Yes. Yes. He has his sensing equipment in front of him, and he's going to motion to the left. All right, then I guess we're going left. Yep. Pick it up. So you guys Start jogging. Keep walking down there. And then, you, and then after a little while, you come to a set of like, worn stairs that go upwards in a spiral fashion. So you kind of walk up these stairs, and at the top of the stairs, there is a door that appears to have like a small porthole type thing in it. And, th- and uh, through this door, you can hear what sound like rhythmic footsteps. We want to go in quiet or loud? Scrap goes like, he kind of, his fingers kind of twitch, and he goes like, I mean, we could make sure there's no door right now. That's what I mean. Do we want to go in quiet or loud? It'll take three seconds. I, I, I mean, there's a bunch of us. I, can we do this quietly? Also, I, I should let you know that even though it sounds like there's nobody right in front of the door, the area behind it, the footsteps sound like there's a, like a lot. Like maybe like, like over 25. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess it's shock and awe. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm just going to lay into the door. I uh, step back to give him some room. 
with one punch, the door swings open. It's not locked. Well, now it's super exciting. What's inside? <laughs> oh, can, can he shatter the door with his fist? Does it have to? I mean, I'd much rather have it be, like, you know, intact. It looks better that way. Yeah. Like, it, there's probably a big dent in it, though. That's fine. It bangs out, and you see that you're on some sort of gangway. And below you is a much larger tunnel. But, uh, looking down into this tunnel, you can see, walking through the uh, pass of light, there is a single file line of some very familiar-looking forms. They are these strange, robotic, robed figures that you saw before. Let me just... Scrap laments not having a wall this time. Well, that's but not they, the climactic. We kick the door open. We go, hi, there's no one in front of me. Yeah, they, they, they don't seem to actually acknowledge your presence at all. Am I, and I assume that little detector you said I had is at least registering that uh, 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 hive signal that I'm calling it. It is, and it's actually much stronger right now. Yeah. <sighs> More of those things. What, well, keep in mind, whatever one of them knows, all of them knows. What? Like well, I mean, board? if you blow them up with one missile. <laughs> it's, it's part of what I've. I haven't had a chance to get, dig into it yet, but we pulled a chip from one of those things. And it's some sort of network thing. Uh, but that was, chip was embedded in its brain. I mean, that, 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 those are some advanced cyborgs down there, those aren't people. There's flesh underneath there. But they're networked together. I haven't had a chance to build an interface yet. That's why I knocked that one lady out when I came in here. You know, you I, she I, was one, she, do you think she was one of these things? Maybe not as far, but I had the uh, I detected the signal that, that Chip gives off. And I didn't want her communicating what she knew. Guys, they're currently walking away. No, it actually, it actually looks like they're walking by you in a column. As they disappear to the right, there's just more coming from the left. Like I said, we've, uh, Epic and I have estimated there's at least 10,000 nodes on this network. Which means probably 10,000 of those, and I gesture down to what the ones walking by. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I guess we could just follow these guys and see where they're going. They don't seem to be reacting towards us in any significant way, so why why stir up a hornet's nest? Let's just scope it out. Well, rather destroy looking the back at to, to to, uh, Theodore, is the signal go follow the gangway across, or does it switching off towards where these things are going? It's going to... It is following to where the... Uh the adherents are marching. And do you know anything about these things? Uh, Theodore's gonna be like, "Mm. these are the cultists, the basest of the adherents. (sighs) Yeah, well, that's pretty much what he says there. And uh, and as he's, like, talking, you can see the uh, retainer beside him with, like, his hand on his sword, and he's looking down at them angrily. Okay, I think I, I, I think I have a solution here. I can do astral projection, so as long as you keep my body safe, I can follow these guys. I don't think they can perceive me, right? Like, that's the whole point of astral projection. And I can just follow them to where they're going, come back, and let you know w- what's going on. I'm thinking scouting is a good idea right now. Hmm. And I'm not exactly silent in this as a gesture to the, my armored suit. So I go, listen, just make sure you keep my body safe. I'll be right back. And you see me enter kind of like a lotus position. And then you see me close my eyes. I start to to mumble some some language in some, in some weird tongue that you assume is tens of thousands of years old. And you see my body go limp. And I do astral projection. Okay. So you can perceive it's right up there above it says remote sensing 10 visual auditory mental physical bodies defenseless subtle two 
I have Levitation, Flight 4, and while I'm in this form, I guess I have Mystic Shield. Okay. So you and so you enter the astral plane. You can see everything, but it's like dull and muted. Yeah, I imagine it's like Doctor Strange. Yeah. And you can do you wish to pass down to the level where these people are walking, or are you going to hover above them? It's maybe like thirty feet tall, this tunnel. As long as I can avoid touching them. I'm assuming touching them is gonna might possibly give a reaction. I will just skim over the top and go down the tunnel with them. Okay. So you're going to go down the tunnel with them. They and as as you go down this tunnel and you see them walking along, it joins up with maybe two or three other tunnels, and you can see similar columns coming from that direction, coming from those directions. And like from each tunnel, there's like a slightly different style of robes. So it appears as if there's some sort of different sects moving to one central location. And as you move, uh, you see that there's some sort of doorway that these three columns are marching towards. And when you pass through the opening, you come to a massive circular area. It's made, it's sort of like a stadium, but not quite that large. And down in the center, there appears to be a long chain connected to a platform that the people are shuffling around on. This, this, is, in, this, is, this is enclosed as well. And what are they, anyway, what are they doing on this platform? Uh, on this platform, it looks like they're tinkering with some sort of machinery. All right, I coast over and see if I can inspect the machine. Okay. So you go over and you inspect the machine. It looks like some sort of transmitting array from what knowledge you do know. And you can identify one of the parts that you guys were looking for. Uh, but you can also see there's, there's one person who is or seems to be organizing everything. He's like overseeing things, and he looks like, or he slash it looks like this. Oop, looks like. So, at, where, where, the, where the other ones have like humanoid figures, this is just blank. Dog sees. And what are the rest of the cultists doing when they're going into this room? Are they just standing there chanting? Are they channeling they, energy? They're filing around the outside of the ring, and when they. Uh, stop at the other side. They're going to uh, kneel on the ground, and but for now they are silent. Okay, I think I've seen everything I wanted to see. So I scoot back the way I came, and I re-enter my body, and I go, "Yeah, there's some like Temple of Doom shit going on down there," and I explain that the cultists are assembling some sort of machine. And they're all kneeling in front of it, and it's just got a really bad, you know, like opening a portal to, you know, a dark dimension vibe to it, guys. Oh, at least we know where the equipment is. Scrap's gonna spin on his heels. We need to, we need to destroy that. Like we just, we need to get in there. We need to, um, what's the word? D like destroy them. Like that's all I got right now. But we need to <laughs> do it right now. He's blunt, but he's got a point. He's blunt, but he's got a point. I agree with you. Scrap's gonna just clang a hand on Can the I rough, shoulder. Could I roughly estimate how many cultists are are, are assembling into this room? Uh, make a perception check with a pretty easy DC. Can you count? Can you can you accurately we will see. estimate? Or like, yeah. can you quickly count? <laughs> so, judge from your estimation, there's maybe three hundred of these cultists in the room. Oh. Okay, so there's a few hundred of these guys. I don't and and I don't know if we if we're up to going toe to toe with with the uh, with the board collect. And with the with your perception check, you also know that this isn't just a like like a blank room. It it is built like a stadium, so there are like things up and around and the sides, and there is rigging up in the uh, in the upper areas. You could probably find a way to get up onto it without attracting too much attention. But eh, 
Speaking of which, we're going to zip, zip, zop back to the auditor. Hello. <laughs> and as you enter, uh, you hear some strange, like, clanking sounds. It's not the normal sound squatters would make, which would be, you know, like, muted talking, some, like, maybe tinkling of a couple of bottles, things like that. This sounds like there are a few people very far below actually working on something. Yeah, well, you said 300. So, um, <laughs> so it sounds to me like there's some sort of uh, coordinated event here. Uh, well, m like 90% of them are not speaking at all. So it would not sound too cacophonous. Well, it'd be 300 people walking around on concrete. True. I mean, that... But um, yeah, so I, I would, you, you hear that kind of weird echoing noise that you hear in like a stadium. Yeah. Uh, although probably not sounds of conversation because apparently, I don't know this, but apparently they don't talk. Okay, well, now that I'm inside the building, do I have any bars on my phone? Uh, you do have some since you're inside the building, but whatever it is, sounds like it's coming from the one of the uh, access tunnel doors that leads downwards. Okay. Um, still don't know what this is. I'm going to take a couple photos. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and text uh, the insurance company uh, to tell them, you know, I'm at location, camera's broken, um, hearing, you know, hear noise of occupation inside, send them a couple pictures of what I already got, and then let's go down and check this out. Okay. So as you go down, uh, you you come to well you come to the doorway it is currently unlocked it's a little bit rusty though from misuse you could make a strength check to wrench it open yeah but if i do that that's going to make noise isn't it it is going to make a little bit of noise yes can i f is there is there a gap or is it totally sealed there is a gap is that wide enough to slip my phone through i'd say so okay i'll slip my phone through and then I will slip through the gap. All As right. I, yep. So, because I am made of liquid metal. Um, <laughs> okay. Wait, and pick, coming to fight the T four hundred. And then pick my <laughs> and then pick my phone back up. All right. Then I will sneak down the stairs. Okay, so you sneak down the stairs, and right when you feel like you've been going down for quite a long time, and the bars from your phone are long reduced to zero. Yeah. All right. I thought so. You, bars. you come out onto some sort of gantry. Um, and there, and, now, wait, before we go any further, is there light down here? There is. It's very um, dim, but there is. Okay, I will turn the camera on my phone and start uh, audio and video recording this. Okay. So you are audio and video recording everything. Yeah, I mean, amateur footage, but I'm still doing it. Yeah. So you step out of the... Uh, out of the ceiling onto some sort of gantry and the ground just drops away, drops away beneath you. There's maybe 60 feet between you and the bottom of this large, large room. Okay. And so this is, this is a warehouse, right? It is. Oh, uh, is this like gantry and the drop off on the plans? Because that looks more industrial than, than like commercial warehousing. It is not on the plans. All right. Well, swing the camera around. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Yeah, just to document all of this. Okay. Yes. And then And This is not up to code. <laughs> and right below you, well not right below, but fairly close to below where you are, you can see the uh this group working on some sort of machine. And you can see it's connected to a chain that goes up through a hole in the ceiling somewhat near where you are. How, does the, air, hmm? how does the air smell? The air smells extremely stale, like it's not being circulated. What's powering that machine? Uh, they have some cables that run off to what looks like some sort of portable generator. Yeah, they had to bring their own. Uh, and I, uh, what's powering the generator? Uh, you, you're not certain. You can make a technology check. Yeah, which I probably won't. Okay. I believe in you. Okay. Excuse me a moment here. Ah. Not one of the skills that I have. Well, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Better than the investigation. All right. So you can actually identify that this is what seems to be a custom job uh, hydrogen generator. Well, so they brought their own fusion generator. 
Okay. Well, they um, definitely don't have permits for this. Gotta well, write this, up. this has kind of gone from squatters to, wow, um, military create espionage. Oh, boy. Um, I'll get some blurry cell phone photos of this. <laughs> and um, now I have a 21. Can I, ident- it, it, can I identify the make and model of the machine? <laughs> Uh, or can, is that not enough? You can identify that it appears to be a custom-made job, which is very unusual because you'd need a okay. fairly significant um, manufacturing right. base. It, it's got no... Yeah, it doesn't match any of the profiles of some of the military-grade hardware I've seen. Yeah, well, no, like, um, I'll, I'll take it, pictures of this, and then I'm going to leave because yeah, if, this is very bizarre. Yes. And if um, if you... Oh, shit. Yeah, the main difference between this and most of the military grade generators you've seen is this is just, it just looks like a white sphere sitting on the ground. You can only identify it from like this telltale hum from that technology check. Well, it's, it's not it's giving a... off any, it's not giving off any emissions, which is the other telltale test. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to leave. This is like, okay, military grade, time to go call the police. And before you do that, yeah. uh, what is everybody else going to do right now? Uh, okay, before we move on, I could feel something from all of these cultists, couldn't I? Oh yes, and the multi- the multiplication of all of them being in one place, it's like it's it's the the equivalent of being deafening. This is a little scrap is uh, distracted. I think is the good <laughs> word. You know, yeah. he's, his, his eyes are shifting. He's like, we got to, we just got to blow it up. There's nothing. We get, there's too many people, but we got to do it. But then, you know, going back and forth as we, as I guess they just discuss what the fuck we're actually going to do. Yeah. How far away is it from here? And I'm asking Axiom, how far? It's maybe like 200 feet down the tunnel. All right. <sighs> With Firebrand out of commission, I'm the fastest one here. And I got some pretty good defenses. I'll go in first. I'll get their attention. You guys follow, and we'll do what we can from there. I mean, there's not much else we can do, right? Well, hold on. And Scrap's gonna look over. Hey, what's wrong with Firebrand? He's dead. <laughs> but, well, but he'll, he'll be get back better. though. He'll, he'll, he'll get this. I have heal. I have healing hands. Could I restore no, no, he, him? No, this he's is, dead. Like, Scrap's gonna pull open one of the pockets and pull out the, the egg and be like, he just does this and shake it. <laughs> there's, a, there's a there's a hot egg. Don't shake the fire, brilliant. <laughs> Very tiny. Uh, you know, that, you, you it, know that old Phoenix legend? Yeah, but I guess apparently it was based off of him. Uh, so he's got to die and be reborn. I can't accelerate this process. No, unfortunately. It's stupid. I mean, you could Blonde. with the right magic, probably. But not here. We don't have the kind of time to go through a spell book. We, okay, hold on. Can you, um, do you have anything to make yourself go faster? Or are you just like normal human speed? Who are you asking that of? Oh, uh, Axiom, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I haven't graduated to that level yet, so... That's no. good. Okay, so if it's down the thing, he's going to go in the thing, he's going to launch the things, I can teleport into the thing, blow up the thing, and then we, when we leave, you cover our ass with fireballs? My things. Have fireballs? My things, yes, I do have fireballs. My and things. do the other guys have guns? Like uh, the, the... It didn't look like they were carrying any weapons. Of course, we get the ones that don't. Well, oh fine. shit! We... Oh shit! You, you meant the ordrists? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um. You 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 have the uh, the speaker who has his staff, which you don't know how much that would do. The um. But uh, they are guns, or they have firearms. They have weapons. Uh, yeah. The uh the two. Um. Followers. Acolytes. <laughs> Yeah, the the, uh, the the two acolytes have uh, what look like seem to be uh, pistols, and the okay. retainer has a sword. Perfect. So we can keep them all up here. We go in, blow up a bunch of shit, come back out, and they just lay into the opening while they'll undoubtedly be trying to kill us through. I like this plan. This is a great plan. <laughs> I really, I, I don't have, there's a lot of going on right now and my head's not clear. I need to go do things and this is the only thing I know how to do. 
Well, that's what we're good at so far is blowing I, shit I, up. I got I got nothing. I, I think the kids I think the kids got a great plan. Scrap's going to kind of like latch himself onto Arsenal's arm and goes, just just throw me at it. <sighs> Alright. You guys follow in as quick as you can, right? Well, I would think they'd stay up here. We can get back up here. Oh, okay. And they just, I see what you're they just throw okay. shit at the at the doorway right. or wherever they're going to come through. Hang on, I've upgraded yeah. my suit just, since the last time he took a ride. Give us a, give now. us a, give us a call if things get too hairy. You'll hear it. Yeah. We'll all hear it. And I take off and full burn. Okay, as you go down the, which is tunnel. a lot faster than it used to be. <laughs> yeah. So as you whip down this tunnel. You see that it seems like all the adherents have filed into this circular area. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they're finalizing whatever work they're doing on this platform. Uh, just a note, uh, our insurance, uh, insurance investor guy probably suddenly hears this scream of turbine engines coming from down one of the other hallways. Yeah, so, <laughs> so you, you just be like, huh, I should leave. And that sounds like there's a jet engine coming into the room. <laughs> hmm. That's just, that's not licensed either. They didn't, know it. <laughs> this isn't Foreshad a license. Foreshadowing. Like, what is this? This is not a, a licensed airport or a hangar. So obviously this is just going on the list. Just one more thing. Un unlicensed, unlicensed technology. There's definitely no permits. Could just be an Amazon delivery. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, delivery's about to be made, all right. Amazon drones, special delivery. Instead of little quadcopters, they just have actual mini jets. And then just fly around the city, just <laughs> shooting it into your apartment. Or hat block. Yeah, big-ass package gun. Just like, here's your fridge. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> All right. So you guys enter into this room. Uh, and I just. <laughs> so, auditor, the auditor would recognize that, would actually recognize who comes in here. You've seen him on the news once or twice. In various capacities of good and bad news. Yes. <laughs> uh, he goes by the name of Arsenal, and he's one of the vigilantes that seem to be patrolling the city. Oh, of keen interest to the insurance Jacking up all the insurance. Jacking up oh, all the insurance. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, crap. Now I have to hang around. <laughs> this fucking guy. Do you think he'll say And he's got phone? some kid under his arm. Yeah. No. Oh. Would he so, help me? You're much lower profile. Well, it depends on the circles you're looking at. <laughs> I'm pretty I sure do know my face. Have the advantage of well connected, which I've all right then. Yes, roles would, to recognize people. You would you would know, uh, scrap as well. You know he's not much the center of attention with that kind of stuff. Right. But a lot of the um, lower classes, uh, in, enjoy his involvement. Involvement's a good word. <laughs> yes. Okay. And Perfect. going in. So you're gonna shoot in there. And uh, basically, no as soon as I see that contraption, I'm gonna throw scrap at it. <laughs> Actually, probably since I don't throw very well. It would probably just be me dropping off because I am going at like sonic speed. So me, me dropping at it would be fine. Yeah, I'm basically, it's basically going to be a dive bomb where I'm heading straight forward and then I, I let go and pull up. Wow, how fast do you fly? Too fast. Uh, half a mile per combat turn. <laughs> fast as fuck! <laughs> Ludicrous speed! And I used to be the slower speed. Uh, I used to be the slower uh, uh, flyer. Yeah. I, I upgraded still so I can keep know, up I'm the not the slowest anymore. Yeah. Now, we, now you know why he was asking if you'd had a car. Because there's a lot of traveling. <laughs> All right, so you get dropped off like right at the base of this platform. It's not very tall; it's maybe like two feet off the ground. And uh, the the uh, the three who are working on the machine don't even turn or make any motion. But the one with no discernible features does actually turn towards you. But he doesn't seem well. I was about to say it doesn't seem too alarmed, but. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, blank face. So he's like, yeah. he looks menacing. How do you know? You just feel it. The, the uh, body language isn't, isn't coming through. Right. He's going to turn, stare. Do you, 
I <laughs> what are you doing? Uh let's see here. Do... No, I'm I'm not oh, let's see. What would I be doing here? Punch him. Well no, there's two things I can do. I know. I can punch, punch him or I can use him as the thing I hit people with. Okay. God damn. And I'm thinking that second one, but he looks fancy, so he probably has fancy defenses. So I'm just, I'm just going over, like, to overpass both of them, or all of them, and just start laying into the machine. So you step up onto the platform. Yeah. Oh, that might have been a mistake, but I've already said yes. So as soon as you step up onto the platform, every single adherent in the area stands up with like a, in like a metal, metallic clatter. Oh, shit but they don't take any further steps. That's great. Punch. Oh, you keep going? I mean, they're, they haven't done anything. So, and so, I... so for, for every step you take, I'll describe what happens. So first step, everybody gets up. Continue going. Second step, everybody raises their arms towards you with, in like and... an open hand position. All right. There, there, I had something I was going to be doing too at the same time at this. Yeah. All right, I made that. I made the perceptions roll to see if, if I noticed the reactor, and I think that's good enough. Um, do you want me to make a technology roll? Do you want? Do you want me to make a technology roll to know whether or not if I could shoot it, it would blow up and disastrously, or what, if what I could just destroy it? In reactor, what are you doing? Uh, make a perception check. Okay, another one. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, that one right there. Sorry about that. Um, well, I did that voluntarily to see if I noticed the uh, noticed it coming in. Because obviously it came in at high speed and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so you would have noticed that there is a mini fission reactor sitting okay. in the corner. Any sort of high explosive would be, gonna be extremely bad, bad in this. All right, it's fission. Then I want to shoot the co- I want to shoot the cables coming out of it. Yeah, soft fission is fusion. There's a difference. Yeah, one's a lot fission, more. Big I want to cut the power of the machine. Yeah, okay. fission's, Even, fission's toxic. Fusion's actually pretty harmless. No, except for the high amounts of heat and yeah, except for the explosion. Yeah, so, well, I mean, if you can survive a star, you'll be fine. You'll be it fine. shouldn't explode unless it overheats. If you cut the power, it'll actually like cool off very rapidly. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I, I was looking. My original plan was to think of just destroy it outright, but since I, it probably trying to shoot it would be a bad idea, I'm just going to be shooting the cables that run to the machine. So I would Can like to do that while your laser while on it. Moving. You level your laser and you go, I'm going to wait a second. Don't, no, don't I'm not going to do that. Have technology as a skill? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't you just shut it off? I'm looking at, fa- I'm okay. I'm assuming, I'm looking at fast response, something I can do very quickly. Well, if you have technology, you should know how to disable it then. But can you disable it? For, can you, it's like disabling a generator from range. Is that possible? Yes, you shoot it and then it stops working. Oh, what if I I, but this do. is a this is a fusion this is a fusion reactor. And yeah. Vision, vision, Fish, is okay. a fusion reactor. It is a okay. nuclear thingamajig. Okay, okay. Wait, is, it, is it fission okay. or fusion? Okay, so I feel like this is spiraled out of control. When I said it's a hydrogen generator, my intent was it ran off hydrogen fuel cells. Okay. Uh, oh, it's okay. not a nuclear. Into fusion, I downgraded to fission. <laughs> That's not a downgrade. Because, because That's not a downgrade. Zero what? point energy. That's all it is. No, oh. but I mean, I downgraded it in terms of effectiveness and tech level because we're not really at portable fusion level. So is it yet. is it is it nuclear or is it just a hydrogen cell? I would say at this point it is a. It's just fucking well, gas. Who cares? No, you know what? At this point, <laughs> it's 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 like a mini pocket fission generator. You have oh, to... I leave. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm, okay, I'm not so hanging yeah. around. If, if he shoots, a, if he if shoots it, it might go Chernobyl. It might go Chernobyl on us, and that's not a good. It's idea. not just a micro Chernobyl. It's filled with. You guys just saw the movie. It's filled with toxic. That's mili- Yeah, I'm. I'm leaving. That's toxic. <laughs> that's why I'm aiming for the cables coming out of it to cut the power to the machine. Uh, I'm leaving to go report this to the government. <laughs> I'll be back with. G- I gotta file my report. Be careful which government official you talk to. All right. Anyway. So, do you want me to make my attack roll first, or do you want me, to, or do you want to go with scrap first? Uh, I think we go with scrap first right now. Okay, that's fine. So, so first step, everybody stands up. Second step, everybody raises hands towards you. Third step, everybody's forearms open up, and barrels poke out. 
do you keep walking? Barrels. What are they gonna do? Throw monkeys at me? No, let's see here. Um What's my toughness? No, uh Oh Jesus. I should have just grabbed immunity to bullets and laughed at the rest of the campaign. Um <laughs> Yeah, because uh, I think you can consider this a 300-person uh, uh, coordinated attack. They will hit. I have a and feeling a they will crap, hit. And do a crap load of damage. Remember what those uh, Mordhau uh, squ no, squads I, did I to us? Yeah, they shot a lot of bullets. They threw a lot of grenades. It was rough. But I came out okay. Let's see here. So I have, Also, I have Firebrand in my pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anyone close by I can punch that's not related to the machine? You are on the you're like on the platform, so not really. I'll take a step back. Let's do some experimenting here. Uh they're going they're they're remaining raised up, but they're not doing anything further if you step back. Hmm. Hold on. So they're not gonna they if I take a step back, they don't like they just not like kind of they go back to their original positions, kind of deals. No. So I can go back and forth really fast until eventually they overheat and explode. No. <laughs> well, sh shit. Actually, I just thought of something. With that perception check, did I notice we have a civilian in in, in the room too? Oh shit! You would have, yeah, you would have actually like, especially as you're flying around, you would have noticed yeah. that there's somebody standing in the gantry trying to get away. In that case, it would it, it would have been over the comms. As, Fuck! We've got a civilian in here too. Watch. We got to be careful. And Speaking actually, of... what what happened to that is, on a, I would have cut a sweep by, and then I went into that positioning myself between him and the rest her. of the room. Or her, my pardon. Audited! Just one between more thing her, for the list. Between, <laughs> between her and the rest of the room. I mean, not like like I'm trying to like literally immediately bodyguard her, but you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, just be a, a body between the gun death. <laughs> As, as best as I can. Yeah. Yeah, gun death. All right, so I'd say at this point, you would have also noticed that everybody's now standing up, pointing at scrap, and the situation yeah. does seem very tense. Would you like to continue with your slicing and dicing technique? Well, it's given. Uh... I am. I am slowly backing away. I'm grumbling about it, but I am backing away. Do you want me to take a shot, scrap? I Just am not if you, sure want me to. If you do, I will be Swiss cheese. What is Swiss cheese? Why do I know that? Um, you know, we know this place. Actually, I'm just yelling at you because I don't have a yeah. calm. So I'm just, and then no one else is responding. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna go. We know this place. He's gonna point at you, and he's gonna point at the rest of them. He's gonna kind of put out his hands, and he's go. Yes, we know this place. You lack your own will, wholly given to providence. Your freedom is lost. And he's going to start taking steps away from the thing and towards the exit. As you start taking steps, are you like stepping, like, are you facing the dais stepping away? Yes, I'm not taking my eyes off as, that thing. As, as you step away, uh, all you hear is Milo Denver. You are afraid. It's, it seems to be coming from the blank-faced one who seems to have spoken for the first time. But weirdly oh. enough, it, it, though it's coming from that loudest, uh, loudest, a very low, a very quiet repetition like kind of sweeps through the uh, whole room. Scott's going to kind of spin on his heels a bit, the kind of glancing around everybody. He's just gonna... He's gonna, like, continue. You fear what you don't understand. What is unfamiliar? Scripps are just gonna point at it and go, I know a lot of things. And I know a lot of weird things, too, that I don't know how we know. But I know that I have to destroy all of you. And he's gonna spin around. You're not gonna... You're gonna Looks back and forth and goes, but I don't know how to do that yet. So yes, I'm scared that I don't know how to destroy all of you right now. The true collective spoke to you as it speaks to me.